storytelling arts of Indiana is ushering in a new year with stories that will speak to their hearts. National storyteller Carol Moore, she is exploring all the ways we experience this intense emotion. Romantic love will only be one small part of their stories. We're going to learn how we give, receive, take, find, and surround ourselves with people, places, and things that we cherish. Mm -hmm. Here to talk more about all kinds of love is Miss Carol Moore. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. Hello. What is it about, because even in that intro, you start to feel the word mm -hmm. love carries so many different meanings. Right. What is it that makes it so complex in that way, you think? Because it carries so many meanings, yeah. because there's so many ways to experience it. Even if you're not the one giving it, even if you're not receiving it, you're around it. Yeah. I mean, we saw it earlier with the compliment on your shorts there. <laughs> exactly. Teasing, teasing you a little bit. Yes. That's, a, that's yes. a way, right. That's a, yeah. that's a form of showing love, yeah. So what will the audience be able to take away? What, what, explain your performance. What will they be able to take away from your performance as well? So MJ and I are very empathetic. We're very authentic. And we are also kind of comical so mm -hmm. we want you to have a good time we want you to know why you came um, but we want you to walk away feeling a little bit better mm -hmm. feeling like you know where your love is or that you're gonna go look for mm -hmm. it because you know it's always within reach for sure one of the things I love about this because love can be a, a spot where we find ourselves very vulnerable right it's yeah. very hard to accept love sometimes yeah even if someone compliments you you're like ah you know don't you know because it, it's almost uncomfortable do you find that people leave this though going a little more open-minded on some of that? Sure, and I think you want more of it too. Yeah. Because you can have it, you actually need to start with yourself. Part of why we're so uncomfortable is because we don't practice mm -hmm. with, that, with ourselves. We don't yeah. practice giving ourselves that or doing the things that we love to do. And so you'll leave like on a discovery, like I want me some of that. Yeah. yeah. So what has the response been? Has it been all love? Get it? <laughs> that was very good, yes. I loved that. Great job. <laughs> 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 so generally, yeah, people people come to us and say, you know, I, I never would have thought of it that mm -hmm. way. Or our favorite is they have their own stories that they want to tell. Uh -huh. That reminds me of a time when my grandfather took me somewhere. That mm -hmm. reminds me of a time when my boyfriend proposed. And so it's very re reflective, but also very motivating that you want right. to go out and, and you want to you want to do it. Get on top of it for sure. Here's what I love about all of this is we, we come from a, a time now where storytelling isn't necessarily as prevalent, mm -hmm. but for so long it was such a big part of history and, and verbal stories and, and reminding us of those things. Yes. Is there something fun about going back to that style of, of entertainment and telling those stories and drawing people in that way? Yes, because all we have is each other. Mm -hmm. And really, when the screens are gone, when, we, when, we, when yeah. we get back home with the babies, what we have is what? Story time yeah. at right. night, right? And so there's something so true and so pure about it and so lasting, which is why no matter what new pops up, we always return to it because it is a part of who we are and who we have been and who we will be. Have you incorporated it in your personal life? Storytelling? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Find me at happy hour. <laughs> You're going to get a story <laughs> for sure. But it, it's also one of those things where whether you want to or not, you know that you do it and you just start doing it. Right. I, we were doing it before. Yeah, we yeah even absolutely. Started. Just sharing stories of... She's from Baltimore originally, and so we were sharing some yeah, of this absolutely. conversation. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. But I think that's what makes it fun, and, and I can just tell from your personality that you must be very endearing to people yes. who come and listen to it as well. So that, that probably you. adds to that so much yeah. more as well. When can people see you and where? It is tomorrow night mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. at the Indiana Historical Society, I yep. believe. The yes. History Center. History yep. Center, yeah. yeah. All that information right there on your screen, just 20 bucks That's to go it. listen to some wonderful stories about love. It's a steal. And they can tune in virtually as well. I know oh, the weather's going to be a little idea. bad. I caught the forecast. Oh, yeah. Because yes, you loved it, but you didn't love, love, the, love it like that. No. That's <laughs> yeah. a different form of love. Yeah. It's the other side. You are an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you for and having check me. Check her out. Check out MJ. It's going to be a blast. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Appreciate much. you. All that information will be at allindiana.tv.